So today we are going to discuss regarding the Tesla groundwater detector map analysis. So this is called the curve graph. Uh, we can see wherever I am going to mark the values have come down. That is the frequency differences. When the values come down, we prefer that area to be has a fault zone. So here we can see we have marked three zones where the values have dropped from the transmitted value. So now I'm going to draw an arrow mark on the graph. This arrow mark is going to represent these values are high values where it indicates that the difference is, is high and so it forms as a rock. So this is the layer map interpretation. Uh, as per the curve graph, the layer map has been interpreted. Uh, the colors which are the midest zones, that is which are yellow and orange in colors can be represented as the fault zone. The blue indicates as a fault zone, but when it comes to a very least value with blue and purple, it may be a noise data. So the arrow mark is representing that we are going to drill in the straight path. And at 40 meters, 120 meters, 140 meters and at 260 meters, we can see the fault zone can be reached. So as per the layer map interpretation, uh, the main color selection is very important. And this is the device, the Tesla 200 device with four probes. Thank you.